What is up guys? Left first here and today we have a blade blade battle between we got the four of all spin emperors versus Bloody Longinus. Now, I guess Bloody Longinus is also an Evolved Spin Emperor, since it's the evolved form of this guy, but, like, don't worry about it. Anyway, so, yeah, again, we got the four uh, Evolved God Spin Emperors, I guess we'll have to call it now, due to you. Thank you, thank you, you suck anyway. So, yeah, we got uh, Galaxy Zeus, four Meteor Planets, uh, Nightmare Longinus, with destroy, uh, Siege Excalibur, one iron, and of course the best bit. I, I don't even have to say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway because I really like this bit. Uh, Spriggan Requiem, zero Zeta. So yeah, let's get this battle started. I'm just gonna verse it against all of them. First, to should we do two or three points? Uh, think Noah, think. Three points. Okay. <laughs> I just choose on the spot. Like dude, when I'm when I'm doing videos, I don't like script it or anything. Like, do you think I script these video guys? Because like literally I talk about like random things throughout the whole entire thing. Because my brain just goes off. So yeah, I don't script it. So when I'm making videos, I'm like, okay, this is a good video idea. I don't even think I'm gonna how I'm gonna do them. Anyway, so yeah, let's start off with the uh, longinus versus longinus. Because you guys seem like whenever I read the comments, you guys are always like, do Nate near longinus versus bloody longinus. And you guys actually don't sound like that. I'm just retarded. So yeah, uh, I guess I don't think I'm gonna make a full video on it. I mean, maybe I'll do in the future, but for now, this is all you get. Three, two, one, two. There they go. Three, two, one, two, two. Go attack! Again, they look nothing alike. Like how are these guys evolutions? They look nothing alike. Go! What? Is he gonna win? No. Oh, <laughs> this is, I, I feel like Nightmare Longinus is the only day Bloody Longinus can consistently win against. Like everything else, Bloody Longinus is just not good, but it can at least beat one good day, in, uh, good day which is this guy. Go, yeah. Oh, <laughs> two points. Dude, Bloody Longinus, if, if you just battle Bloody Longinus with uh, Nightmare Longinus, or if your best friend, he only has this one Beyblade and keeps on beating you, uh, I guess this Beyblade is a good day to have because if that's true, it's like the best day because this is, it can beat this big consistently. You, you know, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm confusing myself when I talk. Go! No! <laughs> okay, so that ties, not ties up the score. It's actually two to one. So like almost ties up. Three, two, one, two. Three, two, one, go. I actually think- NANI? No! I was just saying how you were the counter to this thing. How did you let him beat you? You can't even beat the bay that you counter. This this is like deja vu when I said like, uh, and the Bloody Longinus is Bloody Longinus versus Drain Factor video. I was telling you guys how like Bloody Longinus is the Drain Factor counter, and yet it never beat Drain Factor, or it didn't beat Drain Factor too consistently. So I was like, what the heck, man? Three, two, one, go. Two. Three, two, one, go. Two. Yeah, go attack him. No, don't don't go out the stadium. Good job. No, hit the Beyblade. Hit the Beyblade. Thank you. You know your life is sad when you're talking to Beyblade. <laughs> when you're talking to Beyblades. Dang, that was a crazy smash attack. Okay, so it actually won that one. So it won one battle against the Spin Emperors. Good job for you. Anyway, so next, let's do let's do Siege Excalibur because they both have metal. Now that's kind of weird. Uh, isn't Siege Excalibur? Siege Excalibur is basically a chosen thing. Like, look at it. They basically look like from the same generation. It has metal. It weighs as much as a chosen thing. So why aren't you a chosen thing? I don't know. Probably because he was released during the God Generation. Anyway, so yeah, let's get the spell started. Three, two, one, go. But the question is, is it better than a chosen thing? Let's see. Oh, two attack tips. I always love attack tips. No, my siege is gonna break. I literally bought a new siege because my other siege broke, and I feel like uh, if I keep on battling, it doesn't look gonna break too. Wait, it's not. Lo <gasps> Longest one. I feel like. I keep saying I feel like. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like. Let's say it some more. But uh, longness seems like. Um, it's really good at beating attack types, but against everything else, it sucks. Against all the other types, it sucks. And I guess less spins, less spins, it's also good at beating. So maybe it's not a totally useless bit. I think this base is totally useless. Well, there you go. Score is two to nothing. Dang, Longness is doing really well. I actually thought for a second, I thought Longness wasn't that good of a bait, but he's proving himself. Three, two, one, go. Two, three, two, one, go. Go. You know. It's weird. Whenever I start complimenting Bloody Longness, it always seems to lose. So maybe if I just start insulting Bloody Longness, <laughs> it'll win. Let's try that. Three, two, one. Oh wait, 
Miss launches for reals, guys. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Go. The prophecy is true. If I keep on insulting it, it'll win. Okay, the next battle. Um, let's do Galaxy because you know you gotta leave spring nuts for the last. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, we, we gotta keep insulting this thing, because if we keep insulting it, I don't know, it'll do better. Anyway, so yeah, the next battle we have is against Galaxy Zeus. Now, I really want Zeus, or, uh, Zack, back in Chosy. Like, he wasn't here for God. Well, actually, <laughs> here's the thing. Zack actually did make a cameo in Beyblade for God. He was on the sidelines for, like, 0.5 seconds watching Vault and Choose Battle. So he's there. He just, he's just not in it. And he, obviously, he has a God day, but apparently he's not good enough to be, to be a national level. Level, which is weird because he was better than like uh ever like was he better than xander he was on, he was like the same level as xander but he didn't make it to nationals or whatever i don't get it guys he was too into his music and stuff so yeah let's get this battle started three, three two one go so we need him back for chosy chosy does in this much i'm not gonna count that but uh yeah we need him back for chosy guys three two one go. three two one go shoot again another oh! I'm kind of at the top. Again, another bay that uh, kind of looks like a Chosy bay. Like, I don't even care. If they make this thing a Chosy bay, it doesn't even need to have, like, me like a large part of metal. It just needs giant metal balls. Like, just make these metal balls in there. Just increase them ten times and make them, like, two times bigger, and it could be, like, an amazing Chosy bay. It'd be so heavy. <laughs> the, the metal doesn't even have to make contact. I don't even care. I know, like, Chosy bays, their metal has, like, little points where it can make contact. But like it never really does. This one, if you make a Chosy Galaxy Zeus or Zeus, I wouldn't even mind it not having like metal contact points. Like where's where is uh, Longinus's metal contact points now that I think of it? Does it even have metal contact points? That's so weird. Longinus needs more metal. Okay, and the winner is. Okay, so Zeus takes one point. Like, look at this thing. Where's its metal? Oh, I guess its metal contact point is like when it hits like right here. I guess it could hit this little middle piece right there. Yeah, for Chosy, all their metal, most of their metal contact points is like they could possibly hit it right there. Except for uh, uh, Crash Ragnarok, it actually has metal contact points, which is sick. That's probably why it's pretty good. And so yeah, let's go back to the battle. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> get, get wrecked, dude. Get wrecked. Anyway, so why does this thing have so little metal? It's a Chosy Bay. The system that's supposed to put metal on Beyblades, and the Beyblade that's always had metal on it. Like, look at this crazy amount of metal. The Beyblade that's always had metal on it has, like, no metal on it this time around. It has, like, the same amount as every other bay, if not less. It kind of got a downgrade. Like, look at, look at this. It had more metal in its, uh pre-evolution than it's evolution it's kind of sad okay so the score is two to nothing dang it you're losing again i gotta insult you some more uh you suck you can't even beat galaxy zeus even though galaxy zeus is a decently why can i not focus on my launcher even though galaxy zeus is a pretty bad god bay why can't you beat it actually that's not true galaxy zeus is a pretty good god bay but still it's a god bay you're you're a generation above it you should be able to beat it why are you beating it if i keep on insulting him he'll do better I don't- that doesn't even make sense. It's a spinning top. They don't have feelings. What am I saying? Beyblades have feelings. What- what- if they didn't have feelings, why would I be doing this channel? Is my whole life a lie? What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, obviously it's not gonna win, because Galaxy Zeus is OP. So yeah, um, so far it beat two Spin Emperors, but it also lost the one. Now we're on to the last one. We got Spurt Nut Requiem, and it's in right spin right now, I guess. So I guess I'll use it in right spin. Three, two, one, go. We'll switch it up, I guess, later. Three, two, one, go. Can it beat three out of the four Spin Emperors? The answer is probably not. It's probably gonna lose, let's be honest. Dang. Dang, dang, it's over. I know you want to beat Springnut, but like, it's just impossible. Springnut doesn't lose, I, I hope you know that. Okay, so score is 1-0. I'm gonna switch up the modes, actually. We're gonna go in stamina mode, just for disrespect. This is probably the worst mode. Actually, I really like stamina mode, because you can perform counter breaks. 
<laughs> yeah, see, that was a counter break there. That was a Spriggan Rector on the special move. I think it's called like uh, Axe Counter Break or something because it has an axe on it. Yeah, they, don't worry about it. These Japanese Takira Komi people, they're really creative with these names. Metal Dragon Crush you! Metal Dragon Crush because it's a metal dragon and it crushes. Mind blown. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get back to the battle. The score is 3 2 1. Get it's not, it's actually not 3 to 1. <laughs> the score is now 3 0. So, the winner of that one is Spriggan Record. Now, Bloody Longness didn't do as bad as I thought it was going to do. It actually beat two of the four members. So, yeah, remember to rate, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Left first out.